Today, let us start with circle. What is a circle? A circle is a collection of all points in a plane which are at a constant distance from a fixed point. Uh, suppose we put that one fixed point here, okay, which we used to call our center. Then if suppose here we draw many, many points. And if we measure the distance from here, okay, wherever we measure, you will see that the distance from this point to this one, all the same. So such a figure, we call it as circle. Then this fixed point in the center, we call it as center. And this one, we call it as boundary of the circle. So that is what we call circle, okay. Circle is a collection of all points. That means when we join them, they form the boundary of the circle. And constant means all the distance are same. So if we join from here to here, we are likely to get the line which is known as radius. So that is why we have all the radius are in the same circle are equal. Okay, Because they are the distance from the center to the boundary. Those. So now we will see the term okay related to those so here we see this is we call the center this we call the boundary and then if we join a line which join from the center to the boundary we call it as radius then if i join from the center to both side of the boundary this we call it as diameter then if i join any part we call it as chord okay then if suppose those are the line which are inside, but if suppose I draw the line outside, okay, I extend outside in such a way that it cut the circle at two points. So this line, we call it as second. But if I draw a line in such a way that it touch the circle only at one point, then that line, we call it as tangent. Then this point where this line meet the circle, we call it as the point of contact okay those so now let us see if there is possible way how to draw a line if you look at this three figure you will see okay we have a line uh, there is a point here we have a line outside the circle we have a line which cut the circle we have a line which touch the circle at one point so this one is we just call it as a line then here it cut the circle at two point, we call it as second. And this one which touch the circle at one point, then we call it as tangent. So here you see that mean there is a point which can be outside. So it can be on the boundary and it can touch the circle at one point. So those, okay. So remember the line which cut the circle at two points, we call it as second. And the line which touch the circle only at one point, that line we call it as tangent. Okay, and the point where the tangent touch the circle, we call it as the point of contact. So now let us see how many tangents we can draw through a point to a circle. If the point is on the boundary of the circle, so here you can see we can draw many lines, but all this line are second. We have only one line which form the tangent. So if the point is on the boundary of circle, <coughs> we can draw only one tangent. Okay, the same case here also. But if suppose we put the point inside, so from that point, it will always cut the circle. So if the point is inside the circle, we cannot draw any tangent. But if it is on the boundary, remember, we can draw only one. Then now, if we take the point outside the circle, then here you can see we can draw many lines. Then if you look properly, you will see here we will have one line, here another line. This two, this one also touch the circle at one point. This also touch the circle at one point. So that means... If the point is outside, we can draw two tangent. Okay, so remember, if the point is inside, we cannot draw any tangent. If the point is on the boundary, we can draw one tangent. And if it when is the point is outside, then we can draw two 
tangents to a circle. So now you can read those property outside, okay, uh, by yourself. If the point is lying on the circle, we can draw one and only one tangent. If it is outside the circle, we can draw maximum two tangent. So now let's come to a theorem where we have a tangent to a circle and we have radius. Then what happened? We will see that they are perpendicular. Perpendicular mean they touch each other with an angle of 90 degree. Okay, and so that is the given. So the statement of the tangent, the statement of the theorem goes like this. It says that there is a tangent to a circle And then it is perpendicular to the circle at the point of contact. So we have to prove that theorem now. So now you see what we have. We have a circle. So we have to draw one circle. Okay. They give us a circle. So you have to draw one circle. We can name this center as O, and if we join any radius, we can make it small r. So that is we write in the given, okay? In the given, we get it from here only, from the statement. There is a circle, we name it as C. Here we put a bracket, O stand for center, R stand for radius. Then remember, they also give us tangent. So you can draw a tangent from anywhere, you can draw from here, or here or here but make sure that it should touch the circle only at one point it should touch the circle only at one point and this point where it's touched the circle we call it as the point of contact so the name you can give any okay that is the given remember they give us a circle with center o radius r then also they give us a tangent that is the given part which you have to write like that okay a circle or and a tangent in this here let name it as pq and the point of contact let this name it as r here we can name it as r the point of contact then the tangent we can name it pq you may even name it by yourself okay different name so now what we have to prove remember they say that they are perpendicular. So if I draw, if I join this point of contact to the center, okay? So you clearly see that the line OR is the radius. So now we have to prove that this angle here is 90 degree. This angle here is 90 degree. So that is you have to write in the proof, okay? We have to prove that OR, which is a radius perpendicular to tangent PQ tangent pq okay perpendicular mean they make an angle of 90 degree in order to prove that you have to remember a theorem from class 9 suppose now okay we have one line and there is another point which is not on the line it is outside the line we may draw many line we may draw as many line as we want okay from this point to this line now let's measure the length okay let's measure the length from this line to this point here we'll see the first one is 3.1 then here if you measure we get it 2.4 and here if you see it is 3.5 okay then we have a point and a line not lying on it, remember. So if you draw many like this. So if you look at the angle here, this clearly is not 90 degree. This one also not 90 degree. But if you look at this, more or less it is 90 degree. So from this fact, we can say if there's a point and a line not lying on it, we see that from all these three, which one is the shortest? This one is the shortest. And it is the shortest which make 90 degree. Because here clearly not 90, here clearly not 90. But this one more or less 90 degree. So from all the line which we can draw from a point not lying on it to that line. 
remember the shortest one will make 90 degree so here also we have to use that okay we have to show that or make an anti an uncle 90 degree then in order to show that it make an uncle 90 degree we have to prove that it is the shortest so with that what to do here i draw two lines but here not necessary to draw two lines we can draw only one line okay I can draw one line if I can show that this line is longer than this then it will prove that this angle here is 90 degree so here because I produce it myself I have to write it in the construction okay we take any point s other than q okay on the tangent because remember the name of tangent is pq so we take another point here we call it as s okay and then we join it here up to O and then it will cut the circle at this point. Let's name it as T that we do in the construction. Okay, or you can write it simple. We draw another line OS which cut the circle at T and meet the tangent at S. So let us start with the proof now. So if you look at the figure. If you look at the figure here, you will see OR is a radius, OT is also a radius because from the boundary, sorry, from the center to boundary, from the center to the boundary. So they are radius. So if they are the radius, mean they are equal. Okay, so OR is equal to OT because radius of same circle. Then now look at line OS. If you look at line OS, we can break it as OT plus TS. Okay, we can break it as OT plus TS. Then from here we have OT equal to OR. So instead of OT, we can replace with OR. Now let's compare. Uh, here, for example, you can see OS equal to OR plus TS. If I remake here, okay, clearly written OS equal OR plus TS. If I make this 2, if I make this 4, 4 plus 2, just for example, to make it understand, equals 6. So clearly from here you can see 6 is greater than 4, 6 is greater than 2. And remember our aim is to compare between OS and OR. So from here we see OS it is longer than OR. Or in another word we can say, O -R, o R is shortest compared to O S. So if it is a shortest, that means it will make an angle of 90 degree from this theorem. Okay, so that you can write in that way because we know from a point to a line not lying on it, the shortest is the perpendicular. So we already proved O R is longer than O S. So that means if we compare from here, we will clearly see it is OR who will make angle 90 degree with PQ, not OS. So I hope it is clear. Okay. So remember from the statement, they give us a circle whose center you can name. Mainly we used to name it with O. Then is we have a line which is known as tangent. It touches the circle at one point. In this case, I name it R. But you may name it as your name also. Okay. What we have to prove we have to show that the radius make an angle 90 degree with this tangent. In order to do that, we have to draw another line which cut the circle at this point and also cut the tangent. We need to compare these two lines. Here I name it S, here I name it 2. Then before we compare, look at the circle. We have O to R, O to T. Okay, so both are the radius, so that's why they are equal. If we look at this line which we draw, we can break it as OT plus TS. But we know OT is equal to OR, so you can replace. So if we compare from here, we clearly see OS is longer than OR. Okay, because to make them equal, we have to add TS to OR. So if compare alone, that means OS is longer than OR. So if OS is longer than OR, it will not make an angle 90 degree. 
the shortest make an angle 90 degree according to the theorem which already done in class 9 so with that we prove that the radius which is the shortest line it make an angle 90 degree with the tangent which also prove that radius is perpendicular to the tangent